Hi, this is Vanya. Welcome to my atelier. This is Preview Pad. Come on in. So welcome to my studio. We're actually at the entryway. On the left is the entrance to the workshop. On the right is the waiting room that leads to the atelier. Follow me. So this is the waiting room. Typically, this is where the clients wait on the couch before they enter the atelier. And uh, this is the creative room. This is my team. Say hi, girls. So this is sort of where we plan things, talk about what to do for the rest of the day. We moved here during the start of the pandemic. I think it was in 2019. Unfortunately, we never really got to have a proper opening for the place because when we were planning to, the whole pandemic started so this is the, actually the first exclusive look of anyone to see our studio I've always had my studio in Makati and the last studio I had was also in the Gaspi village and I was there for I think seven years if not eight and we were across Greenbelt and then we expanded I mean obviously you know saving up and really wanting a studio that I could call my own and something that really reflected my design aesthetic and made me feel comfortable working and really a creative space to sort of sit down relax and you know be with the team and so we found this place and I fell in love with it instantly because of the high ceilings and all the great light coming through and I knew right then and there that this was going to be the place that I would call our headquarters so this place was actually done by Greener and Partners specifically Sarah Kanlas who I know through her sister Anna Kanlas who used to work for Freeview and it was such an easy process you know really putting this place together because she really understood to what I wanted and you know knew the design aesthetic and sort of connected it to the space that I had envisioned and it was really all about just making the most out of the light and you know the ceilings and focusing on the walls and making sure that you know initially I said that I wanted the clothes to stand out so I didn't want anything that was too ornate or anything that you know, was against my own design sensibilities. I always wanted to be a little bit more subdued and actually just sort of refined, I think was my word. So I think I started out by saying, I don't want any gold. I don't want any velvet. I didn't want any bright colors because I knew that, you know, as I design a collection, I could probably, you know, venture into brighter colors. And I just really wanted the clothes to stand out in the space. So the space would always become the backdrop and the clothes would be the center of attention, like this dress, for instance. So this one is actually a part of what is going to be a new design collection, and interestingly, a new project of mine, which I will not tell you about yet, but it is along the bridal line. This is one of the samples, which I really love. And then next to me is a mirror that I have had since my old atelier, and I refuse to part with it. It is, as you can see, very feminine and actually more ornate than the rest of the space. But Sarah actually convinced me that it was a great contrast to how, you know, how minimalist and how bare the space was. And it was okay to have something as ornate as that. So I kept it also because of emotional attachment to it. A lot of clients have stood here before. But yes, I think it does add a really beautiful touch to such a bare space, as you will. So again, my creative room, we actually decided to cork the entire wall so I can sort of stick our mood board and pieces of paper and fabric and just really work organically. These doors actually close, so if there are clients, you know, we can talk freely inside. So this one is a little bar and we have little VR waters and we also offer coffee to our clients who wait a while. This is actually beautiful shelving that Sarah made and it actually lights up. However, I have started collecting pieces. These are actually from my home. I was so excited when the space came together and I remember just sort of looking through, you know, websites, secondhand websites and trying to thrift vintage pieces for this space. But the pandemic happened and I kind of fell through and I stopped collecting, but it's gonna come together soon. Like I said, these are old books of mine, design books. I have collected so much, they're in the house. So this piece in particular is really special to me because this was part of VR Casa. This is called the Mayari and it's actually sculpted after a beautiful female form. I did this in collaboration with Ren Marble, Romblon manufacturer. So let's go into my atelier. 
So this is actually the space where I entertain my clients and they do fittings and I get to talk to them one-on-one -on, -one on my desk. The desk is custom made locally as well. And these chairs are super special because these were sourced for me by Okio Shop and they found it at a Milan flea market. It was so beautiful and it was sort of the anchor to the entire space. You know, so this is where I draw and I sit down and I talk to clients and sort of just entertain them. Super lucky because I get to look out to such a beautiful view with the plants. So when designing this space, I was very specific about the right amount of space that my clients would have when they fit. I work with brides a lot and I was very specific that if they do wear the dress that there would be enough space for their train. In my previous atelier, I would always have to move my desk when the bride would stand and that was always a problem so we made sure that this room had the most space and it actually worked because whenever I sit here and I try to think of what to do for a collection it really gives me a lot of it's kind of like my sanctuary you know where I can really think and I liked that it was bare it was very important for me that there wasn't a lot of clutter so I could really think and Sarah understood that completely so instead of of, you know decorating the space with so many pieces she concentrated on the little details which is super important to me like this wall that was actually um, hand done grain of it is not perfect and I love it and you know just the combination of everything here like uh, the shade of the wood and the shade of the marble and the floor and how the walls were done by hand as well so really throughout the design process we were very particular about the tiny details which we usually overlook and that was the focus of this entire space and just really focusing on how the light hits when the shadows come in every afternoon and just sort of play with the leaves outside and the clients come in and they're dressed in their gowns and it's such a beautiful sort of you know everything just comes together nicely and yeah I guess that was the whole point of designing this studio is just to play with the natural elements this one is actually something that I bought off Amazon I had this in my atelier about seven years ago and it hasn't changed I am however saving up for an Olivia Dabbleville piece which I love which I think would look so perfect here but I'm gonna say for that soon enough for now this was a purchase about 10 years ago it's a printout of an Henri Matisse an illustration that I love and it again it features the female body and that's something that I really draw inspiration from like this piece this is called the Lakapati and I had this done when I was pregnant with twins so this is actually my body when I was pregnant with twins and so it's really special to me so I always put that here because we love the female form if there was anything I could have changed about the design process you know what nothing really because I worked with the best person who could have done this for me which is Sarah hi Sarah and if there was anything I would have changed it was really the timing of the place because like I said we started and we made this place really at the start of the pandemic we were supposed to launch and that didn't come together so I kind of feel bad about it but at the same time it has really become sort of a sanctuary for me during the pandemic because you know I really got to work with my team one-on-one -on -one. there weren't a lot of people coming in however you know this place sort of you know was able to carry us through the pandemic and other than that I really feel that this is the place that I've always dreamt about the place that you know I have worked hard for seven to eight even a decade of actually being in a studio that was really small it was really like an apartment studio where you could actually sleep in so it was such a big difference between you know having a place that you actually built from scratch and you know just being in a place for a decade that you know you just sort of worked along with so what else can I tell you about this space again I think it was also like I said during the beginning it was about the fitting room actually so this is really the main event of being inside this atelier this is the same marble that was cut out from my desk so you can see, again, another subtle detail that you probably won't notice if I didn't tell you. This fitting area, so let me turn on the lights for you so you could see it. It was very important to me because I wanted the client to feel that she had 
you know, sort of that room to breathe and a lot of space to sort of twirl around, look at all the angles of the dress and like nothing else would take away from the attention of her standing here and the dress that she was wearing. So as you can see, there aren't many attention grabbing details, which is really what we did. This beautiful chair here was actually also thrifted for me. It's a Marcel Brewer chair and it is vintage. Speaking of details, here's another one that Sarah and I really worked on. So as I work here and I need help, let's say I need someone to come in for measurements or I need some swatches, we have created a secret door that leads to our production area. So if you want to come in, I can show you the workspace just for a bit. So into our workshop, come with me. So this is another tiny pod where we get to work behind the scenes. This is our bridal manager, Klein. Say hi. And this is at the Michelle Amanda and R. <laughs> um, and that was the entrance to the workshop here. Um, if you'd like to see the rest of the space, you can follow me. So all the dresses, it's a little bit tight. Hi. Yeah, so this is the workshop. Yeah, yeah, there's, and there's a kitchen there in the back as well. Gowns hanging, our finishing area. Say hi, Atas. <laughs> They're eating. <laughs> this is my husband's office. He's not here today, but this is also a small space that, you know, where my husband stays. He does all back end work of the company. He's not here. So that was our workshop. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little tour of our studio and I hope to see you here one day. But for now, you can follow us on Vanier Moff um, on Instagram, Bridal Vanier Moff, Studio Vanier Moff on Instagram as well, and our website, vanier.ph. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to previous channel. Thanks for joining me today. Bye guys.